I'm Samantha and I am here to go over my high and lows for January and February. I apologize if I'm looking a little bedraggled or rough. I'm not feeling the greatest today, so I am trying to make it through. I've been meaning to make this video for, well, since the beginning of February. And that's why I'm doing both January and February together. Um, but just life has been getting in the way, so, um, instead of doing, like, book wrap-ups every month, I'm going to try to do just an overall, like, month wrap-up, almost. But for January, kind of just the highlights that have been, um, that have happened, um, we went to a mini comic con that was in my town and I got like a stack of comics from that. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's supposed to get a bigger every year. It is just the first year that they are doing it so I'm really happy with that. I had two five star reads. One of them was a reread which was The Secret History of Witches by Louisa Morgan. That was for the reading by not reading by candlelight for the so mode it be book club i really enjoyed rereading that i it still held up for me i highly recommend it and i also read kitchen table tarot by melissa sanova my copy of the book is in the living room but i really found this as kind of like an eye opener for like tarot reading if you're struggling with learning and remembering the different meanings for tarot she does a really good job about um, describing the different, like, symbolism within the Rider Waite standard, like, artwork. Um, I highly recommend that if you're really wanting to brush up on your tarot reading. And, um, within that January as well, we had Jordan's birthday. We don't re usually do a whole lot for his birthday. He's not one to celebrate birthdays very much. So it was just, like, another day for him. Uh, I did end up taking a day off um, to be with him though just for that mon like that Monday beforehand that way we would just hang, hang out and then I became an affiliate with Cursed Cosmetics they are an alternative um, woman owned independent brand makeup company that had done I originally heard about them from doing them doing a collaboration with my favorite band Motionless and White and they had a call out to f for people to sign up for their affiliate program and I happened to get accepted for that so I'm happy to say that I am an affiliate now with Curse Co Cosmetics if you're looking for any um, alternative indie brand makeup company I'll have a link to um, my affiliate link in the description below you'll get about 10 percent off your order and i get a 10 percent kickback from that so that's one way you can help support the channel and for craft wise for january my favorite project that i had finished probably was my red kent kent lamb pullover i believe that's the the pattern name um, it was from one of my Interweave Knits magazines that I had in my stash. I will have a picture or something on the screen for it because I like the way that it came out. There's a few things that I could probably have done differently that didn't quite like pan out how I was wanting it to. But overall, I'm happy with the way that it came out. But um, for the January's lows, I had uh, major change-ups happen at work. Um, I'm no longer able to do things during my downtime that I normally used to be, which isn't a big deal. It's just it's frustrating when it's now just now becoming an issue. But I'm a lot of my reading time and crafting time has been cut back, um, so I'm having to kind of like work around that try to figure out what's a good how to like incorporate my hobbies in to like my everyday life without having that additional time that I did during work which like I said it's not a big deal it's just frustrating with how it came about and my friend one of my 
close friends from my knit group, her health started going haywire. She had been in a lot of pain um, throughout the last few months and finally they're starting to get answers for the reason why she was in pain and it took her a lot of fighting with doctors just to be able to get like seen and pretty much believed. It's frustrating when doctors don't fully understand the vast like pain that someone is dealing with. So that's been stressful. And for February, just kind of go into the highlights for that. Project high that I got into was diamond painting. I have my diamond painting next to me. I, it's kind of big, so I'm not going to bother like trying to wiggle it around. I got into diamond painting. Yet another craft I didn't really need to start, but I did anyways. Um, I have a new baby cousin. My cousin Autumn had her, a baby girl. Um later in the month of February, which she is the cutest thing. There's a new local bookstore that is not too far from my office that had just opened and they're um, really excited for the things that they're bringing into the community. And Jordan had his very first car show um, with the one project car that he has been working on for a few years now. It's not complete, like finished finished, but it's it was finished enough for him to be able to get it to the car show and I'm very proud of him about that it was such a good day for him I yeah it was it was great and I didn't really have any I didn't have any five-star books or highlights for February when it comes to that it was just more of being in the moment my reading has kind of like been in a weird place I February kind of just got up at out of hand for me like I lost track of time of with everything um and like kind of segue into that like goes into the lows I have had a lot of mental health struggles lately especially in the month of February I I've been struggling with my anxiety just period but I have been seeing I seen a new doctor started a new anxiety medication um, just due to my insurance not covering my previous one, I've had to make an, a medication change. Um, I've also been having pretty much headaches almost all month long. There's a time where I pretty much went two weeks having a headache every single day. Right now, knock on wood, I had only a small headache Saturday, just enough to like make me kind of be in bed for the remainder of the day but yeah I also need to go whenever I see my doctor I need to talk about that I have a feeling it's possibly um has to do with maybe I have like sleep apnea or something because I before I had my sinus surgery a couple of years ago I was kind of diagnosed with sleep apnea but I also had a deviated septum at the time so I'll probably have to get a sleep study done here soon. Um, yeah, and going back to like my friend's health going haywire in uh, January, at the end of February, she was diagnosed with endometrial cancer stage two. Um, so yeah, that, that came out to real blow. She was petrified of what that means, but she has to, she had to have a full hysterectomy, which she got done as I'm recording this um, earlier in the, this week. So as far as I know, she's healing pretty well. Um, so hopefully that continues on and that brings her the relief she's needing. And uh, hopefully they got all the cancer cells out because yeah, this cancer is no joke and it's the worst thing ever. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. For March, like what I'm hoping will happen with March is I am just trying to find ways to kind of relieve my anxiety. It's just, it's been, I haven't quite hit the depression mark, but I'm teetering on the edge of depression. Usually when my anxiety gets this like manic, I have like a crash where that's where my depression comes in so I'm trying to avoid that as much as possible but 
I am just, I don't know, I'm not in the the greatest headspace at the moment, so that's the reason why I also haven't been doing a whole lot of videos lately. You, I am about at the end of all my previously recorded shorts and stuff, so that's the reason why you've been seeing a lot of shorts uh, popping up on my upload days because I just haven't had the brain capacity to actually sit in front of a camera for very long and record. I have ideas for vlogs and stuff in the future, it's just getting around to the point of actually starting them and just sitting in front of the camera and talking about said ideas. But I also have a handful of doctor's appointments to kind of go through. I am supposed to get an eight ultrasound done on my thyroid at the end of the month because my um, glands or thyroid felt a little swollen when I went to my endocrinologist um, last month so she is wanting in, to get an ultrasound done just to make sure because I was um, confirmed she confirmed my diagnosis with my rheumatologist of having Hashimoto's um, which is a thyroid disorder. I'm on like the onset of Hashimoto's because really the only symptoms I have is just extreme fatigue. I'm tired all the time pretty much. Um, with a little aches here and there, but my thyroid levels themselves are perfectly fine and just have the low positive thyroid marker for the more in-depth tests the rheumatologist does. So that's been fun. I am also have been referred to a reproductive specialist to try to get pregnant. I had two endometriosis surgeries in the past that um, one of them found out that my left tube was completely covered. So the OBGYN I went to see feels like my best bet is to go see a specialist just in case something happens where if I do get pregnant, it doesn't cause, like, turn into an ectopic pregnancy with the only remaining tube I have. So I'm supposed to be going to see them here soon, um, see what my options are, so hopefully things turn out. But just the way that my luck has been lately, I don't want to get my hopes up because, yeah, it always comes to bite me in the ass later on so 2024 hasn't been the greatest for me so far unfortunately it hasn't been terrible it's just been really frustrating in going through a lot of changes with like with work we have I have a new manager now and just things are just not going the way that I was hoping the year will go and I'm hoping that once this I hope March brings some good news for me and hopefully things kind of slowed down in my life it seems like everything is kind of like go 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 almost and I'm just kind of standing still and I don't know how I feel about that at the moment so but I will stop rambling at you guys um, let me know in the comments below what you, the first two months of the year was like for you what were your highs what were your lows and like this video if you enjoy this kind of content subscribe to keep up to date with any new videos i come out with in the future and until then you guys bye